Nick told me today that he had a surprise for me. And here it is. His pants are actually covering his body. If you don't know, Nick usually wears pants that are just so full of holes. Look at him, he's such a beautiful man. Like if you were a woman and you saw Nick, you'd kind of you'd kind of do one of these. I want to take a moment and uh, highlight two of my favorite people here at New Hope Church and use it as a moment to teach some of you guys uh, who are volunteers something that will bless your worship leader, your worship pastor very much. Daniel Hello. and Ricky. Ricky's favorite daughter gave me that shirt. <laughs> gave him that shirt. These guys are early. What time is it, gentlemen? Uh, it's it's. 5.50 actually. Okay. okay, well they're early. His call time is 6. These guys, let me see if I can get in the frame with them. I don't know how well this is going to work. All right. These guys show up early every week that they serve. And they show up prepared. And it just it makes me so happy when they serve. Thank we you love guys. to serve with you. It's awesome. We love so to serve with you. Here's, here's what you can do. Show up early and show up prepared. At least show up on time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wonders, when did you get so good? Brian's tuning it again. It makes a habit of this. So should you. I say, are there? Do you guys like not tune your guitar? <laughs> This is Throat Coat. You've probably seen me use this a lot in the Sunday vlog. So here's what this does. If you're a vocalist and you sing a lot, um, like if you have multiple services, sing a lot of songs and you feel like you're losing your voice, this will help you. Uh, but I wanna read you the ingredients because I think, I drink a lot of this stuff on Sundays and I think I might die because this is what's in it, all right? Uh, all herbal ingredients. Uh, all of these are organic, so I'm not going to say the word organic. They have the word organic written before every single ingredient. I'll get to that in a bit. I have an issue with it. Uh, but here we go. Licorice root. Slippery elm bark. Licorice root dry aqueous extract. Marshmallow root. Proprietary blend. Don't know what that means. Wild cherry bark. Fennel fruit. Fennel fruit? Is Nick, is fennel a fruit? I have no idea. So let us know if you know what this is, okay? Cinnamon bark and sweet orange peel. Now, this doesn't taste as bad as it sounds, but all of these things stay organic. Here's the thing. I have degrees in, in call, undergrad degrees in chemistry and biology. I was a science guy growing up. So if you're a science person, you'll understand what this means. Organic has like this sort of accepted meaning in, in the food industry. And actually nobody really knows what it means because different people define it different ways. But here's what organic really means. The word uh, literally means that it contains carbon. So all living things are organic because all living things contain the element carbon. So when you say something is organic, uh, the first thing I think is you're saying that it contains carbon, which means nothing about the quality of the food. Uh, but our food industry has accepted it as a diff totally different meaning. Another thing I don't like about what we do here in the United States is uh, is the imperial system of measurement. I wish we'd go metric, uh, it's so much easier. Again, chemistry major in college, we did metric, everything. Everything is so much easier. Inches, feet, yards, we should be doing centimeters, meters, decimeters, uh, kilometers. It makes so much, it makes so much more sense. 
Anyway. We do it in track and field. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to go get some of this throat coat before we start.